Okay. So, how old is he? Seven? Mm. Mm. You know, this uh, Tulku reincarnation. Um, It, you know, you guys really have to be very careful here. Mm. You know, most important is the children, the child, the tulku. Um, first of all, the glory day of tulku or the reincarnate lamas is basically gone. Um, actually glory day of any kind of religious you know, uh, authority, religious icon, religious head. It's, uh, mm, yeah, I think it's gone. And um, many times with a very good reason, I'm happy actually that uh, such kind of um, phenomena is uh, scrutinized because um, it has actually, I don't know, the, yeah, lamas, tulku, especially this whole tulku phenomena have, um, and also of course the tulkus in the past and probably even now, many tulkus have done a lot. They have contributed a lot. Um, but all this Tuku business has also ruined the image of Buddhism. Uh, I mean, in many, uh, uh, many times, in many situations, and I think it's getting worse and worse. I mean, there's a lot of stories, you know that. Um, Aside from that, you know, I know you two, I'll be very blunt with you, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, kn I know as a parent, you guys, because, you know, it's your child, and you see very, you know, you are, you, the way you look at your child, you are already, uh, it, it's bias. I mean, to be very blunt, uh, you, you see it in a different eyes. And then on top of that, even you think that, uh, oh, that maybe he is somebody's reincarnation. And, you know, it, all this, um, maybe creating a lot of stories in your head, which is understandable. And by the way, I'm not saying that uh, your child is Tulku, I mean, you are, I'm not saying that your child is Tulku or not. That one is beyond me. I don't even remember what I eat, what I ate yesterday. So, you know, there's no way for me to actually see who is Tulku or not, who is authentic Tulku or not. But aside from all of this, I think fundamentally, parents, especially parents, and then so-called labram, those who are supposedly taking care of the tulku, the young tulku, they really need to think something very fundamental, which is the life of this child. Um, You know, there's many ways to ruin 
child's life. Yes, there's all these ways of, you know, like violent, and, you know, ignoring them and abusing them. We have plenty of stories like this. But there's other way too to ruin kids. And I see this happening, especially with uh, young, very young Tulkus, uh, with uh, overly eager, you know, disciples of the previous life or parents. Wow. What you are doing, I mean, there's uh, so many things to think about. I mean, what you are doing is you are basically destroying this kid's privacy. You are putting him into some sort of a limelight. Uh, what do you call it? Spotlight. Mm. Every photo you take, especially this kid with a, on the throne with some light issuing from, I don't know, from head, Every story you tell about how this kid is remembering that, this, dreams, everything we you do, you really have to be careful. Because all this will be recorded. Many times you parents and the, you know, love wrong people, you guys actually deliberately print, I mean, they record this, right? And you guys mm, distribute this everywhere. You know, as is something to show off. Wow. You know what this is going to do? This is going to, you know, this, this kid is going to grow. Now, right now, your kid is very, you know, sweet, cute. You know, like a, almost any kid who clad with some sort of a brocade and put on a throne with some entourage, incense burning, trumpet blowing, all of that will create this atmosphere and everybody's wow, love. you know, sort of inspired, everybody talks about this, but you know, this kid is going to grow. And if this kid grows good, under good guidance, good education, all of that is fine, then maybe it's good, but chances of. But even then, let's say, even then, if he gets a good education and a good training, it's a human being, it's not a machine, you know. The kid has emotion, the kid has hormone, and the distractions, you know, is everywhere. The kids, you know, kid, and even if the kid your kid, as he grows up, acts totally perfect. You know, people's expectations. You, what you are, what you guys are doing is you guys are basically raising hope and imagination and assumption of other people, and that is the worst thing you can do to a kid. Because when the when the poor kid grow up, and when the poor kid if he behaves okay, fine. I mean, when I say behave okay, I don't necessarily mean sitting on the throne, which is the case, right? Sitting on the throne like a statue. And... But how many hours can he sit? Anyway, most of the time nowadays, the Tulkus begin to do things. They begin to, you know, things that you, contradicts to a lot of the imagination and the expectations and the assumptions that you guys have helped to paint when when the kid when the kid is young. So please you have to be really careful. You are basically ruining a kid's life. Mm. And not just that. Let's say your expectation is what? He sits on the throne. He sort of wears all the traditional garb. He gives all this sort of, you know, coached and basically um, 
constructed formula of teachings you just you know you force download on him and then he regurgitated and um, spits this out okay that may be you that may be what you are thinking now you have to think this okay let's say he does all of that by the time he gets he become like about 20 he he, he manages he manages to do all of that and because the way you brought him up is with all this you know like praise and just you think that you are giving him the best the carpets the room the attendance the endless attendance and all of that but what you are doing is you are really making him immature you you are basically uh, obstructing him to become emotionally immature he would be he you know, like a like lot of young people who suffer these days, I don't know whether you have noticed, um, they all have this sense of entitlement. They don't appreciate other people. So basically, they don't know how to relate to, you know, peers. So they have some sort of a very patronizing attitude towards the those who they think is lower and they have a jealousy and competitive and sort of very you know gone you know there's no like respect and humility to the, those who are i don't know higher or a greater or teachers and because the took was showered with all sorts of gifts and the value, the value for these things. I don't know whether the Turkuts actually will, you know, sort of appreciate this. So you have to be really careful. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit too late for you guys, but you know, if I were you. I will not announce. You can keep. Okay, if okay, you may have a really amazing dream. Maybe the prediction or the the recognition description of your your child's uh, previous life, and you know all that may be perfect and really good, right? Perfect. But even then, I would if I'm you, if I, if I'm if. I'm in your situation, I would not speak about it. I would hide all of this. Instead, right now, give all the spiritual training and the general education and the emotional sort of intelligence, uh, uh, you know, teaching some related to emotional intelligence. You do that and then the child will grow very sensitive, compassionate probably, understanding, humble, educated, confident. Then you take out from your suitcase, hey, this is the you know sort of the recognition letter I had I got it from so and so Lama. My this child is so and so's so reincarnation. Fantastic. By then, the the boy, the, you know, the kid will know what to do. I mean, better. Ah, you know, a lot of parents I can see they're ruining their kid, and I really urge and supplicate and beg you guys not to do it. Please think of the kid's life. Wow. 
it's really painful, you know, when, you know, when there's like hundreds of eyes looking at you, expecting you to be somebody special as you grow. And then you, you know, you, you are just a human being. You have all the ups and downs. And in fact, you are much worse than other human, being because, human beings because you have been protected completely. So you don't know how to relate to anyone. Yeah. I don't think it's wise. That's it. That's an advice for you, two of your children. <laughs> what do you think?